This is Joe Pugh for IFL TV. We're here at the Genesis. Um, Karis, I'll ask you what I asked everybody else. Did you think you'd be here right now after the news breaking with Dan Aziz? 50-50. I wasn't too sure. I thought it was deja vu all over again. Same as this time last year. So, But I'm, I'm just grateful it is going ahead. Yeah, it was all there on that boat last year. I thought, uh, obviously, the Queen passing can't be helped. But, yeah, you don't really want to make a habit of these cancellations, do you? No, not at all. I was sat there scrolling through my social media after training, seeing the poster, and I was like, not again. Can't be going on again. So straight on the phone to Ben and John Wish, Sky and Boxer, and I was like, what's going on? He was like, it's definitely going ahead. So just had to mentally stay strong and act as if it was all still going ahead. Talk to me about your opponent. She's been in with the biggest and the best of multiple weight divisions. Why her? Um, good test, I think. Good test at this point in my career. She's been in with some good opposition, like you said. So I get through her on Saturday. It just means I'm on the right track and heading in the right direction. Is it a case of levels? I believe I'm the better boxer. And all this pish about pro boxing, amateur boxing, it is different, but... In the sense of, it's just a bit more rough in pro boxing. It's still boxing at the end of the day, and I'm an excellent boxer, so I'm planning on to box rings around the lake. I just spoke to her, and she said she's been working on her power, and she believes you. she will knock you out. Uh, just uh, your reaction to that? <laughs> I don't know if you're winding me up, or if that is genuine, no, genuine, but fucking fair play, good luck to her, but that won't be happening. Not happening, no? Nah, it's not happening, not at all. Up there... I think Raven Chapman was mentioned, uh, Sky Nicholson. Are they the fights you want for next year? Yeah, definitely. They're the fights that I believe are good for the fans. Um, I'm heading in that direction, I think. Obviously, they're both knocking on the, the door, I suppose, for world titles now, with uh, having the interim and the WBC silver, etc. So, But I believe me and Raven make a cracking fight for British level. And then, obviously... I suppose you could call it world level or whatever level you want to call it, we mean Sky, but there's obviously other names in the division as well, do you know what I mean? It's not just them two, they're just good fighters and well known on the scene and that's why they get mentioned, but you've got like Nina Mienke, I think that's how you pronounce the name, so forgive me if it's not, you've got Lucy Wildart that's now challenging Sky Nicholson now actually, like there's, there's loads of good names out there, it's not just them two obvious ones, So, but that's the direction I'm heading in, yeah. I think it's your job to kind of catch up to them because you've got the pedigree, you know, that's undisputed, but yeah, they are probably one or two fights ahead of you right now. The, yeah, they've got a couple more fights on their record than I have, but so I don't know how you'd want to look at it or how you see it, but they're not a step ahead of me in the sense of levels because that's not the case at all. Like, I'd be we're more than capable of getting the fight on now, but. You know how boxing is, the politics, etc. behind the actual scene of boxing. the stuff that needs to be said and done and whatever. So maybe they're building it up and waiting further down the line. I don't know, but they, they, they would be big fights. Does the British mean a lot to you? Obviously, Lauren, first recipient of it. And, yeah, that could be a fight to be made with Raven for that title. Yeah, definitely. I think if me and Raven were to fight, then obviously that needs to be put on the line because on paper she's number one, I'm number two in Britain, so... It'd be stupid not to have that belt on the line, I think. Um, I mean, when you ask me, does it mean a lot to me? It's a bit of an odd question to ask, because obviously it's only just come in, so it's never something I've really set my eyes on or looked at before, because it's never been a thing. But now it is a thing, then of course I'd like that to be on the line if the fight was to go ahead. Karis, last one. I asked your opponent, she thinks you're getting knocked out. Uh, what do you think happens on Saturday night? I think she's talking absolute nonsense, and I box rings around her. Karish, thank you very much for being to IFL TV, and I'll see you Saturday night. Thank you very much. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.